Naga on primary school in Nassam Timoko Zain secondary school. Find the Kalkunga Zain secondary school like his work as Most of the girls that uh, uh, qualified to come to the school are from very poor backgrounds. And most of uh, the one of the reasons that prevent girls from proceeding is actually uh, poverty. Most of them, as a result of the insurgency, were displaced from their villages and they were jam packed in the IDP camps. A lot of parents uh, have the will to enroll their girl child into school, but they are left with the uh, chances of enrolling either the boy or the girl. And eventually, in most cases, boys were favored in uh, being enrolled into school because of the significance that is attached by the culture and tradition in Africa. The whole concept of keeping girls in school in Africa started with uh, leaders of Africa, particularly the Sultan of Sokoto, the Kabaka of Boganda, and the Ashantehene of Ghana. And the, they brought together traditional and religious leaders from 25 African countries to come together and discuss how traditional and religious leaders must take the future of Africa and the development of Africa. So they came and discussed, and one of the elements that is very, very important for the future of Africa is ensuring every girl in Africa complete secondary school. Katata, what the advocacy is around, when the dims are not smart, sir, so what? Then Sultan has to know. Sultan has to know. Because when we are talking about the Catholic, the Christian, the Catholic, the Catholic. Orthodox, Muslim, Protestant. Uh, the Keeping Girls in School initiative um, is being implemented in Ethiopia and Nigeria, being um, two of the Africa's um, highest uh, geographies with the highest number of uh, girls not going to school or going to school but not completing. Women are mothers of the world. So if the mothers are educated, definitely the world will be educated. And if we are educated, the problem is solved. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going People have this misconception about Western education and Islamia, but what they don't know is that the Western education does not deprive them from going to Islamia. That's why they are having different time frame. So KGIS is now engaging these children to reorientate them so that they will know that yes, they have the opportunity to go to the Western education and as well the Islamia. So they are learning skills that they can self-employ themselves. But importantly, even while they are in school, they begin to earn money. And this is a big incentive for the parents.
kalanza kai alma sayro gulu kin cewa awar faida aulan mla aulan batilaro be durida leila aulan batiro be ike uru wulam ngana ariyan duyeso renge lerde ya kurge har ma tikara zai barle za duriyar ba na tai dira ke nun diri karo ne adiye de suke da kala kin na in ma na za ma in kamar eh liyo chakin sun nastamur no lemat li meda mi chile urgetin meda wondochin legito setochin legito ma yallam equally no importance mesetet yallebet na timirt bet inde hedu set liyo de ma jetin ji wodu chin saradichi mi bal ye dro bahal ያ ያ ነገሮች ተጽኖ ያድርጉ የሚቀሩት ነገሮች በማስተማር ህብረተሰቡ ዘንድ አንድ የድግሪ ምሩ ከሚናገር አንድ ካህን ቢናገር ተሰሚነታለሁ አባቴ መምህርን ሰይ ካህኑ ብለውኛል ይላል ዱየ ተራን ዘከራ ይርድብ ዲያይ ከላዚ የተሯዘና ተራን ዲያ ተሯዘና ደር ናጄሪያ ዳብሩናል ጥዋ ተሯዘና በጣም የሚያስደስት ስልጣና ነው ምክንያቱም ለምን እንደው የ የለውጥ ግማሽ አካል የሆነው የሆኑ ሴቶች ወይ ደሞ ሴት ትምርት የማግኘት እና ያለማግኘት ሁኔታ ለይተ ለማወቅ ነው if we want to change the society we have to start from the bottom not not uh, just we used to blame the government for not bringing the female doctors from where the government will bring the female doctors uh, doctors these doctors must be our children We have to take them to the school. Train them. Let them be nurses. Let them be doctors. Then if if the government didn't employ them, they will now fight the government. Ya kamata atura ta mata ka sama ilimi amma sai a tauyeta. Abarta kina daga aikin gida sai talla kaga wannan gaskiya ni ni na ganin ce amma akan matsayi zalunci gaskiya ta geyen AI. Don mafi yawanci AI mata wadanda ba su karatu suna muka gani saman titi suna yawan tallace tallace ko kuma ke ga yarinya tana yawo da te ta bigi wangana miji ta bigi wangana miji at the end wani abu ya faru wanda zai iya bata ma family ta suna da sauran wadanda a tare da ita eh yin dagmo ya salayu bare da shakala talafin nasir mosad allabacho bamil turu yihona ya ginzabe masjabacha sultana no yitsato yin yizo dagmo mahabara sabu ya rasu ya yani no setwa ስከመ ጨረሻው ተመራ ራሷ ዳር መድረስ አለ እንድትدرس የኔ የያንዳንዳችን ሐላፊነት ነው ሚንቀሳቀስበትም ወይ በጣም አሪፍ ነው ለምን የሃይማኖት አባቶች ትልቅ ተሰሚነት ያላቸው አካላት ናቸው እንደ ኢትዮጵያ ማለት ነው እንደ ሀገር እና እነሱ ህብረተሰብ ክፍሎች ላይ የሚሰራው ስራ በጣም አሪፍ ነው ምክንያቱም ሴቶች የህብረተሰባችን አንድ አካል ናቸው የኛ እናቶቻችን እህቶችም ናቸውና እነሱ ካልተማሩ ጎዶሎ ነው ማለት ያ ማለት ጎዶሎ ነው ስል ምንፈልገው ነገር አቺቭ ማድረግ አንችልም ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ሴቶች የማህበረሰቡ ግማሽ አካል ስኮኑ ድረስ ግማሽ አካል ጎዶሎ ነው ሴቶችን ትተን ወይም ትምርት ሳይማሩ ቀርተው አገራችን ኢኮኖሚው ያርጋል ወይም ደግሞ ወደ ተፈለገው እድገት ትሸጋገራልሽ ማለት የማይቻል ነገር ነው ማለት ነው አይ አም ኮሊንግ ፎር ዘ ሲንሲየር አቴንሽን ኦፍ ዘ ፔረንትስ village heads and religious heads to stop discouraging girl child education instead they should encourage them because if a girl is educated she will never forget her fatherland traditional rulers and religious rulers should support parents to take their girl child to school so that they can achieve all of their potential they can be the doctor the minister the lawyer and even the president of nigeria they want to be ማራ አንደኛ ሴት ልጅ እህት ነች ሴት ልጅ ምስተ ነች እና ሴት ልጅ እናት ነች እና ሴት ልጅን በናስተመር ይሄን ማህበረሰቡን ሁሉ ልንደርስ እንችላለን ምክንያቱም ወንድሟ ልትመክር ትችላለች ልጆቿ ልትመክር ትችላለች ባሏ ልትመልስ ትችላለች ከተማረች እና እንደውም ማህበረሰቡ ማስተማር ከተፈለገ ሴት ልጅ ማስተማር ዋና ነው ብዬ ነው መወስደው ምክንያቱም የማህበረሰቡ ዋና አካል ስለሆነች ምክንያቱም ሁሉንም ሴት ልጅ አንድ ሴት ልጅ አሁን ለምሳሌ እኔ ሰልጥኜ በገባውት ቤተሰቦችን ዳስተምር ይችላል ወንድሞችን እና የትምርት ቤት ጓደኞችን ዳስተምር ይችላል እና እኔ በሰለጠንኩት ብዙ ሰዎች እንኳን ያውቀት እንትያገኙ ይችላል ብያስባል some of them exhibit a lot of skill that even we that we are teaching them we cannot even do they have do these skills when i came here i don't know i i don't have idea about computer but now i will boot operate 
type and do my assignment. I will use the knowledge I here in DCC to set up my ICT center. I they have taught us how to keep our body clean, our environment and full body, One, and such as menstruation and how to cooperate with people. My goal is to become a doctor, that's why. And if I'm not educated, I will not think of that. I want to become a doctor one day. I want to be a teacher because I want to help my community like Dr. Mero Mandira helped me. I want to be a journalist so that I write how GCC helped and changed my life from the beginning of to now. These girls are future leaders. So if you refuse, if we refuse to educate our children that are coming up, it means that we don't have tomorrow. So going to school, oh no, will not yeah, destroy the quality of a good woman, or oh, will not destroy the habit of a woman. It will even improve, it will even improve her relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also her relationship with other society. Kizyeo tenish zagayyabbal, kaziba fi tenabbal, mamta'ati nabbarabbal. Makadiyatu, bizu seyit lijoj, lijoj chachin, lehuto chachin. Sanajan <laughs> I will put you as a fire. Selling and Cameroon Road, Wahala, Alabaras, Guriana, Cassina Lenya, and I come a Kalalil and Alay no Sutuna. Kinsambia, Alay Sutuna. Surokins and Miss Sutuna and come don't design, be come with them with someone. Tara don't design, be careful to call you. 
What the MSD commanders has done in this is to actually support us to have a proof of concept. You test a concept whereby where there are no doctors, where there are no nurses, if you get uh, women, uh, young women that have some very basic level of education, primary school, that you can actually train them to address some of the needs of their community. So, Kudunga Tame accounts Kuna Kaiso as a bit. When I bad at him, Okone, Gameda, Life here, Mata, the Komayara, the Komamata, Masuchi, got a basu carrier account, one two to ticker, they at the name, yeah, at the Bemo, I want the Zamani. Kamar Irin Su, Subten Jiki, Subten Mohali, Irin Kamar family planning, Zaka Gamutin. Yaro de Mache de Tana de Yaro Haka Kumagash Yarum Bekei Ayay Shiva za asike mishi kani. Kuma de ga goyo ga chiki diga wahala ga neo ga zazabi bakasama wen ne zaka faro kulade shiva. We have trained over one thousand and thirty little workers in fifty two wards of sixteen low growing areas. Did they go to house, house to house? Promoting health services, women and children are the targets. Sick children are being encouraged to be taken to hospitals. You know, they provide uh, health education. Uh, pregnant women are encouraged to go for antenatal care services and also deliver in health services when it's time for them to deliver. The zoo cinema, chicken and zoo are sitting here correctly, ma. So say. I did become one of my zoo. Mana zoo, we must we must get get him. We we be house to house. I'm we gosh, I'm from under the jail cells. Concern me. In zoo, we zoo, we can go to Vajra. I can go. I am a magana. That is 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 is that 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 is in this insurgency, they, they train this village health worker, they help us to go around within the, uh, the community area to identify sick patient, they know how to take a delivery at the labor room. Um, initially, they were used to traditional bath systems. We've now uh, lifted their capacities and developed their skills in the areas of trying to mitigate where they bring, uh, they brought in a lot of effort in uh, reducing maternal mobility, maternal morbidity, and then um, the death ratio amongst um, children. By doing this, even the treatment of some face eye services, they used to do it. Minor fevers, minor injuries, uh, maybe uh, headache, fever. But if they see the cases above their management, they used to refer. They have a slip for referrals. Together with the patient, they will come it. And then we will take the history of the patient. And then if the patient is desired to admission, then we are going to admit. Need the referral, then we are going to refer it to the uh, general hospital. We have achieved a lot because 
village health workers have gotten trained and that has helped the effort of the health workers within the community and that has boosted the morale of the community in accepting all activities that is being uh, brought to the people. Mun ji dadi da muka gan yan village ruwa cikin anguwa suna nan kamar ungo zama suna ce maka mana suna waya mana da kai suna ce mu je awo in yara ba lafiya mu kai asibiti amma kus ko pompe IDF ishen nan ya na tin yasa an jero gal jero gal lo ga hawo da an jero doctor Hadi Yusuf Dulabi ni le wanzu ya kwanye na kun zan biru gwaji ne ya suro duro tap na me ya ko ka video ya yi sutiya ishen gal biye ruwal ce ne ne ishen gal biye ruwalcelenyen ba yanzu ya dan rike aifuwa kam akai akai babu to shakara biyu zuwa uku zamu aifa yaro su akan ba na akai akai da yanzu kam normal le aifo mu lafiya mu kalau yanzu mu ji murna da su so a gurin mu sun fi doktoci ma maganar su ka gaya mana muna murna da su mun gode If I am going up, I am subtracting. If I am going up, I am subtracting.
bring my children and the children that attend NEA and put them side to side and talk to our leaders. I don't think without that scholarship I'll have finished my secondary school now. I want to be a journalist. I want to thank Girls Child Concern for everything. They are good girls and they are graduating and optimis I am optimistic. Experts describe education as the key to empowerment and the foundation of every nation. It is the process by which a society discovers and develops her human and natural potentials for political, economic, technological and agricultural growth. It is the tool for social harmony. Accordingly, it has become imperative to the society to have a well-defined, articulated and coordinated program of education for all children, male and female. This is because the survival and destiny of any community is directly linked to the education of its members. And that is why education remains a right to every child. But despite this, however, the girl child in Nigeria is lagging behind in the area of being educated. A Universal Basic Education UBE National Action Plan report published by the federal government in 2007 indicates that the total primary school enrollment stood at 22,267,000 407, out of which 9,994,361 were females, representing just 44.88%. This worrisome disparity against the girl child is further aggravated by their high dropout rate prior to the completion of primary five. Some of the reasons adduced to this are poverty, cultural system, and early marriage. As a result, young girls and even women are sometimes seen under the scorching sun hawking. This trend cannot be allowed to continue. This is where the Girl Child Concerns, GCC, a non-governmental organization came into being. The GCC was established in the year 2000 and was registered in 2001. At the forefront of the establishment of the GCC are Dr. Miru Mandara, a renowned gynecologist, Haji Abilkis Yusuf, a prolific journalist, and Dr. Hamid Boboi. What is the girl child's concern all about? Our primary objective when we started is to give opportunity to girls that are indigent, girls that are intelligent but from a poor family background to be able to pursue academics to its highest uh, level. Uh, when we started uh, about uh, uh, 15 years ago, uh, it was an informal thing. Uh, I took a girl, Bakisu took a girl, and we got a couple of our friends to take a girl each. Uh, and we supported these girls through secondary school, we paid for their school fees and their academic expenses, and we worked and liaised with the parents to make sure that the parents leave them to complete uh, school. Uh, the first two girls we started, one is a lecturer now in FCT's area. As one of the strategies of emancipating the girl child, the GCC has a female student scholarship scheme, FSSS. This project aims at giving the girl child opportunities to attain the highest level of educational pursuit in their lives without financial constraints. The FSSS process also seeks to achieve certain objectives for the betterment of the future endeavors of the girl child. Every girl that is on our scholarship signs up to do a couple of things. One is that she must attend our annual life skills development retreat where we bring all of them to, to, boarding, uh, to be boarded in Queen Anina College for about four days and we bring well-established women from across the country to come and talk to them especially women who had similar background with them to, uh, to them and encourage them to, to be able to strive in life, to be able to see that their education has made a difference in their lives and so therefore they can. And, and also to be able to develop a personal relationship with these important women and they mentor them. 
So all the girls on our scholarship sign up to attend this. The second is that they also sign up to help other kids. Each of our girls takes up a project to help other children. The girls in the FSSS must make a commitment to assist at least five other younger children in their academic pursuit, as well as participate in annual beneficiaries retreat. One other project that the Girl Child Concerns has initiated is the Give Back Project, GBP. How does this work? Give Back is a project where we try to get uh, influential people in the country uh, or people who have money in the country but who have benefited from the public school. People who have attended LEAs and I can assure you most over 90% of the important people in this country attended LGEA or LEA school or LA school at that time and those schools were excellent. People who, who finished primary 6 or 7 speak better English than the masters in English these days. So we're trying to get them to invest back to the schools they attended. The Girl Child Concerns is also involved in organizing what it calls Life Skills Development Workshops. In the Life Skills, we do not set an agenda for them. We get the girls to sit down and negotiate within themselves and agree on an agenda. Uh, for example, the last one we had, some of their concerns was what were the uh, what were the strategies for passing exams? So we get we got teachers to talk to them about how you pass exams. Uh, some were concerned about early marriage, so we got counselors to talk to them about early marriage and how they need to speak to their parents. And if there's need, we go and intervene. Uh, they wanted to know surprisingly about they, they wanted to know HIV, and they were also concerned about teenage pregnancy. And we learned so much about these girls about what goes on among teenagers. The Girl Child Concerns is also planning to initiate what it calls the Legislative Education Campaign, LEC. How does the GCC intend to pursue this agenda? We want to really get children to be able to speak to our lawmakers. Adults have done that for a long time. It hasn't worked. We want to bring my children and the children that attend LEA and put them side to side and talk to our leaders. Let them see. They were once like this LEA children, but because their leaders had a focus, they made sure that the LEA was as good as any private school or even better. And why couldn't they do the same? About 200 girls on the GCC scholarship are graduating this year after a successful secondary education. Dr. Mero Mandera discloses the amount spent to achieve this feat. At the moment, we must have, uh, and with the Life Skills Workshop, because it comes as a package, uh, we must have spent close to about 50 million uh, over the last uh, six years uh, to train the girls to do the Life Skills Workshop, to do a lot of things. But to think of it, uh, 50 million, over 100 girls changing their life forever and the life of the older generations to come through them. It's, it's, it's chicken feed. One of the graduating students is Nuseiba Nasser, whose father, a motor driver, has 14 children to cater for. Her dream of becoming a laboratory technician would have been a mirage without the intervention of the girl child concerns. I would like to show my appreciation to them for helping me. Because if they did not, if had they been they did not help me, I don't know how to uh, how to continue with my education. They really make an impact to my life. Halima Labaran is a student of Queen Amina College on the GCC scholarship. She is the last of her late father's 13 children. She says she would not have been able to continue with her education without assistance from the girl child concerns after the death of her father. GCC have played a great role to my life because I don't think without GCC I would be what I am today. Another graduating student, Ruth Negedu Musa, is full of appreciations for the GCC. She lost her father in 1986 and has been under her uncle's custody since then. Her uncle, who has 10 children to cater for, had to bear her responsibilities, which really weighed him down. That was the situation before the GCC scholarship. 
I thank God for making me to be part of this girl's child consign. To me, life could have been somehow um, difficult, but I thank God for giving me the girl's child consign to be able to help me. They have provided a lot for me in terms of textbooks, exercise books, paying of school fee. Another student, Sumeya Babaji, also an orphan on GCC scholarship, has this testimony. I am an orphan. My father is dead and my mother is dead. If not because of if not because of the scholarship that I'm enjoying, maybe that I will drop out of the school. And we are nine in our family. There are other testimonies on the impact of the GCC scholarship. The scholarship has been very helpful for me because I don't think without that scholarship I could have finished my secondary school now because now I'm, like, I'm about to be a graduate. I finished my work since when I was in JS1. GCC have been helping me out with my notebooks, textbook and my school fees. I want to say a very big thank you to the GCC because they have helped me a lot. They have touched so many souls in the society. I want to say a very big thank you to them because they have been a sort how I don't even know how to express my feelings to them. One other beneficiary of the Girl Child Concern Scholarship is Rebecca Kuri. Rebecca lives with her parents in Jank Asai village in remote district of Kajuru local government area of Kaduna State. She has this to say about the scholarship. GCC pay my school fee, book, uniform, and everything. God bless GCC. Rebecca's parents, who are farmers and some others, consider the GCC as a God-sent organization to help them out of the agony of poverty. If there's not organization like a girl child concern for sponsorship for those children or students, I believe sincerely, we and this entire family, we cannot be able to send my younger sister, Rebecca Kuri, into a secondary school. I cannot be able to express my happiness over what they are doing for us. We are very, very, we are extremely very happy. In fact, all we are praying, every day and night in our praying mood, we used to pray for the group that organized this uh, sponsorship for, the, for her. The principals of some of the secondary schools being attended by students on GCC scholarship commend the initiative. I'm one of the beneficiaries because I have five students here in the school that are being, uh, that have been taken care of by the uh, organization. They are now graduating and they've taken care of them right from the JS1. And uh, since then, uh, they are among my best students. They are really working hard and uh, I've not had any complaint from their parents about their being here. The Girl Child Concern has sponsored nine of them. And I think eight of them are graduating right now. They are writing their final papers. One is in SS2. I don't know. Maybe she was ill or whatever. She had lost a year. But eight of them are graduating right now. The principals, in addition to their appreciation, appeal to other organizations. I really want to appreciate this effort of DCC and I pray that God will also give them more stamina to even sponsor more students in this direction. I believe if other organizations also can do this, there will be a maximum success in terms of girl-child education. These testimonies of the achievements by the girl-child concerns are enough to spur it onto greater heights. And of a truth, the girl child concerns will not rest on its oars. The question to ask, therefore, is what are its future plans?
Our future plans is to see as many of these girls move to tertiary institutions. That's number one. And those that, uh, for whatever reason, cannot move to tertiary institutions, they get some art, some work, something to earn a livelihood. Uh, at the moment, we had some of our girls trained by Nike Foundation on video storytelling, and New Age has adopted uh, uh, about uh, six of them to train them more on to be camera women, so that when you have to interview women in powder houses, you don't have to send camera men, you can send camera women. What we plan to do is to make sure that we share these ideas with anybody who is interested. Uh, if people want to give us donations to train these girls, we will happily accept. If you train a boy, you train an individual. But if you train a girl, you have trained a nation. So, join hands with the Girl Child Concerns to build a greater nation.